Welcome back to the Final Fantasy VII Remake. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to oh. go on a guided tour of the Shinra building. Oh, Belly of the Beast. I love that soundtrack from Indiana Jones 3. Mm -hmm. But first, um, we're just going to go through the building a little bit more before we get the proper guided tour. Haha, okay. <laughs> mine. <laughs> Especially because in the original game, after you sneak past the couple of the guards in, uh, you know, on the 59th floor or the 60th, I forgot. Um, basically, you manage to breeze with your stealth uh, through most of the building without being undetected practically at all. You're free to do whatever the fuck you want. Here, they used the tour guidance. Uh, you know, excuse to actually justify you managing to find a way to update your key card at least for a, for the first set of floors. Oh my guys, um, is it also, just me or uh, does anyone else song. hear that local song playing? So uh, I'll be singing, this is a peaceful place. Oh, um, by We're the way, away from the screaming. Um, hello fellow <laughs> Shinra employees, how do you do? It's just the three of us. Why are you by. carrying a sword on your back? I actually believe the sol soldier units are very common, roaming around also the Shinra building. So we should be probably more worried about Barrett and Tifa. Uh, we're, uh, we're his prisoners. Wow, there nice go. view. <laughs> yeah, I can see the smoke over there. I guess it's part yeah. of the scenery. But down below, every little light burning bright runs off her blood, and bit by bit they bleed her, never stopping to think. You probably her. shouldn't be saying this out loud in this building. So, <laughs> the earth and fire. I'm not just making a hole in the ground. My God, the CGI is aged so poorly for spirits within. Yeah, uh, have yeah, have a comparison between 2001 and 2020. I mean, also, I mean, I mean at, look, looking at the positive, I guess it's you know it it does it, the improvement does look staggering. It is the an downside, unfortunately, is you know there's no rest for the forgotten because you know they have to be left behind. As in the age, you see, Shiroi, whenever you drop something on the floor, you're not just dropping it; you're hurting the planet. <laughs> <laughs> as inappropriate as it is for Bear to be saying that here and there, though, it is an interesting stance. Though, like, well, we're sitting up from here. As far as some Shinra employees know, for all they know, they're apparently doing the best they can for Midgar. And up from here, you know, the view looks beautiful. But we've been down well below and seen what it's like down there, and, uh... Yeah, it's, uh, not exactly as pretty as it looks from up here. It's part of a 1984-esque, you know, atmosphere that also the original went through. The idea of these mega corp in control with present Shinra as, like, the big brother watching you, telling you what to do, and saying that life is great and everything's better as long as you are a brave, good, uh, you know, toy soldier and stay in your place. Bing bong! Attention, this is the Shimmer HQ security head. Please be aware that any soldiers in the building be sure their weapons do not scratch the ground. If they do, they will have to pay for any and all repairs. Thank you. Thank God my weapon oh. is right above the ground. See, this is why Cloud runs forward. That's also the thing. Uh, um, in comparison of size and actually scraping the ground, Garland's great sword is actually something that scrapes that actually does leave a trail of sparks because it actually scrapes the ground so much yeah. is having yeah. involved. Um, I, yeah. still have no, I still and, uh, have no yeah. idea where the hell Sephiroth uh, is. I can't, run, I can't run up this. There are some Just challenges that you Be a good boy, Cloud, and him. follow the rules. There you go. Hey, hey do you know where oh. Sephiroth keeps his Mazamun? Yes. Probably up his ass. Oh, Reeve. Like I said, a full inspection. There's no telling what kind of damage there might be. But yeah, Reeve also has a hot secretary here. Of course he does. It's uh, Shimmer <laughs> procedure. Standard, standard Shimmer procedure, too. By the way, sir, I don't know why, but in the budget you put something down for Scottish cat robot for some reason. A man needs to have a hobby, sweetie. Including the giant Mugglebot, sir. Yeah, I have a very specific visual in mind. Duly noted, sir. I don't get paid enough to deal with this. Whatever reasons they might have had, destroying an entire sector is... it's beyond the pale. 
Also, Reeve, you're, you're literally submerged with bureaucracy. Jesus Christ. How many papers do you have to sign for, per day? Don't I know it. I hate Mondays. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, she, she, she just told them, you're, you're having dangerous thoughts, Mr. Reeve. Ah, this guy. Focus on more him. Of him more of him later. So he was um, trying his best to be the good one. Uh, yeah, let's just put it this. Reeve tries to be the A-toner of sorts. The guy who would be able to set things right and just wants to honestly do it, his job. He's basically an abused wife. Every day he goes like, no, I swear, I can change the company if I pull this through enough. And every, like clockwork, he gets rammed in the ass instead. Yes. <laughs> By pretty much every other official at Shinra. Yeah, they probably take turns. There and now, oh, welcome God. to the humble Shinra exhibit. He oh yeah, absolutely humble. literally has a statue humble. made out of solid gold. Th this, shit is, this shit is right out of Super, New yeah. Super Mario Bros. 2. A humble home. You know, the general public can't even see the statue. He wasted this much gold on the statue that only the highest of people can see. I swear I'm most recognizing this voice, act voice actress for the narrator of uh, the memorial, but I can't pinpoint who she is. She sounds like it's the announcer. recorded Barrett. She sounds like the announcer from Sonic Riders. I get but the that's, that's supposed too. to be Laura Bailey as the Omo Chow. Yeah, or a better place on my show, um, Joffa. But yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, she sounds different. However, uh, however, I however, think it's however. I think it's Cassandra Morris, because she is listed in the additional voice actors. I think yeah, that's, that's, it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I know that Laura Bailey nowadays plays Oma Chow, but did she play Oma Chow back then during the Sonic Riders segment? A golden gun. Yes, a golden gun. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, no, never mind. No, she, was only, she was only in Free Riders, you're right. Oh, alright, let me see if Bloops can show oh, the photo. Oh, and Sonic there you Generations. Go. There you go. Oh, god damn it. Um, in the, the group photo, there was an easter egg from Final Fantasy X 2, because the Sheena in that photo had a mask identical, to the Shinra character of Avengers 10 2, reinforcing the theory that the two games uh, universe are connected in some fashion. So now so it's the, official. The, the, supposed, the supposed theory is that Shinra either migrated from the planet managing to find like a rocket, an arc rocket or anything, and went to this particular Gaia, or that this is a far future version of Spira, of Spira which I actually more inclined for the first theory because the second one doesn't make sense. The two worlds are still drastically different in terms of geography and spirituality. Oh. Uh, yeah, sure. Hello, Drew. He looks like a nice guy. <laughs> Although, Tia, when There's you... Scarlet. Oh, boy. Hi, There's Digger. Hi, Digger. Look at how proud he is. <laughs> There's Reeve for the urban department. Beleaguered as ever. Making sure you don't shit in the streets. There's Palmer doing space stuff, I guess. We've seen what he can do when he comes along down to Sector 6 as well. And yeah, now each division has his own Pokemon badge symbol. How nice. It's almost like they'll each be bosses we can take on. <laughs> Again, it's, it's, nice to see the <laughs> yeah. it's nice to see that President Shimmer is really humble in his um, <laughs> in, in how he presents himself. So, yes, uh, very. Now it's time to hear what each of the representatives of the division thinks. So. Oh, I just boy. say that this pre recording thing has probably not been play tested enough. So. The advanced weaponry exam yeah. is currently undergoing maintenance. We apologize for the inconvenience. So, yeah, we don't get to hear any uh, scuffs here. Oh well, I'm sure the others have plenty of stuff, you know, to say. Wonder why now, they did you look like that. Yeah, you will. Yeah. What? What? Read this. This uh, right here. You could have edited this out. Seriously, the, the Shinra Department has no editor for these things. The Space and Aeronautics Division has taken rocket systems developed for military applications and adapted them to a different purpose. To blow you all up. Uh, I mean, the. Uh... <laughs> Again, really should have edited this down a bit. 
Yeah, I don't see that coming into favor with us any time. Those plans are currently on hold. Oh. It's a bit of a shame. <laughs> you can't stick to the script. I wonder why Scarlet's wasn't ready yet. Maybe because she probably didn't even bother. She probably beat the sheet out of the recorder. For no reason whatsoever. Oh, wait, no, there was wait. A, there was the rocket, the number 27. I think it is. Oh, wait, I know the reason. It probably turned her on. Like, what doesn't turn her All on? All right, let's see if Audrey's willing to speak. Welcome to Shimra headquarters. My duties as director of research and development are... Yeah, you're too, you're, you're, you're too that... stupid to understand what I do, so... <laughs> so what, are you going to be like, um... So what, are you, are you going to be like Matthew Vaughan in the... Yeah. Two, it's too um, thin for us and we should go watch, um... We should go watch Snow White or something. Yeah, I, mean, I love Matthew Vaughan, but that bit in the comic... <laughs> Like a real dick. They just kept this in because why not? Probably because they, have, they didn't want it to waste another potential take. Honestly, they probably should have asked, do we really need these people's recordings? This is basically self-parody, you know, the fact that the Shinra is yeah. so... Hi, Hi Digger. Oh, hold on. Yeah, yeah, Scarlet and I have nothing to say for their presentation. Huh, interesting. All right. Oh, there we go. There's a mechanical arm. All right. Maybe how? But, uh... no, I got it. I got it. Scarlet. Scarlet. T Scarlet fired. Scarlet demoted the the ooh, ooh, record ooh. the director to his twelve foot stool, and Heidegger killed the director for his sake. Ooh, you mean? All right. You're about to hear the punchline. Welcome to the Shinra building. Our mission here at Urban Planet is to supply the residents of Midgar with ha. created from Mako. We also take pride in maintaining public infrastructure uh, and railways that well the city. Currently, we are working to construct an intro. Uh, All the Java. When yes, this project has been completed, it will provide much easier access to numerous locations all across Midgar. God, this is awkward. We appreciate your Honest, but yeah, that's the punchline. Reeve is the one who, honest to God, tried with his take. That's, <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the problem, though, to you. It's funny he talks about infrastructure after Shenra literally dropped a freaking plate on Sector Well, he probably recorded that beforehand. I'm just saying, the poor guy he's tries. He's an optimist. He's probably gone by this point. It's sad because his goals get the most undermined. No, okay, not really, narrator. Two were not available, and two insulted us, basically. <laughs> Sure. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Right. Uh, yes, just ignore that giant plate we dropped on some of you earlier. And, the, the, and the, the pair of uh, reactor that have, have been exploded in recent days. Ooh, look at all that live stream energy. I wonder if it means anything. Nah, Jova, silly, silly clown. Imagine the live stream actually gushing out of the earth and intervening on the planet. That just little do we talking. know that this video, little do we know that this video was e edited. That live stream going past us was actually the blood of the planet screaming. Probably was. Uh, Remember, Dweebs, uh, only the Cetra are able to communicate with the planet. Oh, and there's the model! Move the, I think, three floors, be floors below its original location. And thankfully, you don't have to complete it this time. Well, the, the seven Mako reactors now. Semantics. So. I'm sure, we'll make, I'm sure we'll make a new Sector 7, right? <laughs> Blackjack and Nukers. ...to extract it and transform it into the fuel and electricity that powers everything we do. Thanks to the miracle of Mako energy, our lives are richer and better than ever before. Uh. Mako keeps our lights on at night. Like I said, Joe, don't worry. Um, Reno will make Midgar great again. Nothing but a bunch of lies. Yeah, let's go with that, Barrett. Sorry, not Reno, Rufus. Sorry. Yeah, Rufus, Rufus. It's me, people blind. Well, Cloud does raise a good point, though. 
I, it's a it's a tricky situation. Both Cloud and Barrett are yeah, foreshadowing. Uh, both Cloud and Barrett are technically right, but it it really is the dilemma. Is the new comfort and technological progress worth? And the, the short answer should be no, because if at the end you will die horribly by exploding the situation, you should try to find an immediate solution quickly. It is, after all, a criticism to, to fossil combustible, you know, fossil combustible. But uh, you know, that is a current plague that we have to face on the long run ourselves. It's a lot. Uh, of... Tifa, I need to scan this key card. Thank you. It's a lot about the argument of how much the technology march on at the expense of the planet. Although, although according to Hideo Kojima, the solution for when petroleum will end will be that a micronation will start terrorizing the world. <laughs> well, ter uh, like you yourself said, like uh, we've been far from, uh, we've been uh, far from it. You know, it's um... funny, honestly. From well, like... not 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 too long. Still a couple of decades. Anyway, but we'll um... see what happens in the meantime. Anyway. But anyway, guys, we're going to experience the greatest uh, VR simulation ever. Oh, yeah, with an actual CG cutscene. Oh, boy, are we about to go out Disney the ride Cosmos on this? The Cosmos Theater. This thing, this is another hint. I did mention this briefly in the, um, there you go, in the, in the original game, but Bugenhagen used to work at Shinra, and this is one of your hints, because this thing is probably designed by him. Since you know he, he developed the technology of developing the planet, the planetarium in his house. It's funny you mentioned Kojima, actually. Uh, recently, me, Pedro, sorry, recently me, Dwibs, and Tio did a commentary of The Rock, and I wouldn't be surprised if Kojima got a lot of ideas from that movie, from Metal Gear Solid. Oh, well, Kojima's a big West taboo, so All right, uh, now time for actually see a very cool thing, actually. Time to see what the ancients look like in, in their past, or at least what the Shinra probably yeah, believe yeah, in Yeah, a similar interpretation. And the three died on re-entry. Hey, what is realism in your stuff? In your video games. This is actually pretty cool. We did never see this kind of, you know, um, there you go, this kind of um, architecture and civilization from the ancients. Keep in mind, again, this is what Shinra thinks they were, so for all we know, it was actually very different. But it's still pretty cool, nonetheless. The ancients, also known as the Cetra. Whoa! I want to get off Shinra's wild light. <laughs> Well, they most likely they based it off um, what Aerith and her mother were wearing um, when they got them. Hmm. Well, there you go, we were able to craft the materials of their own thanks to the natural using of a live stream. And that's how we were able to use magic, but also use the spirits. And the summons. Bringing a dragon. Yep. Shall we one day return? Hmm, the promised land, you say. Such an uplifting message for Alas, such an evil the corporation. Are long gone. Oh. Two thousand years ago. Yeah, we killed one of them too, but we're not going to mention that. <laughs> but before their fiery end, did the ancients find their promised land? No. Even now, we have only to wonder. Well, technically, we, you 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 guys do know, but again. And there you go. Vilkav was literally built out of nowhere. Ah. ah, get it, it's a reverse situation from the end of your original game. And now for the hypothetical future that the Shinra wants to build. Uh-huh. We believe you. Just ignore the three, the four, five kaiju buried in ice and you'll be fine. Yeah, 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 there's, there's oh, the, no, the, the, the Apple, an Apple store. Uh. Oh god, they Narr really are evil. You know, the, the narrator oh, might as well be saying, nice, Come nice. and join Shinra. We are totally not shady. Come on, guys, that was actually nice. I'm pretty sure it's over. Right oh. There. Oh. Oh. oh, dear. Um, hello? I recognize uh, that music. Also, I don't uh, think this was supposed me. to be in the script. Uh, excuse me, sir, but I but I do believe you're not supposed to be in the game yet. 
Yeah, you were like two discs behind uh, It's a bit early Oh, hello no! Wait, this isn't right oh. A cloud. A, a cloud. I used a cheat code. Shit. You monster. Sephiroth. Meanwhile. Oh hey, Palmer. A man of my refined taste. There you go, Joy. One to the 69th floor. There you have it. And it's featuring Palmer. At least he didn't put Ward in his tea this time. Not just that, it's also hilarious. In the original game, this scene was only implied, oh, but here we actually do get to see Palmer. Cheating himself on seeing Sephiroth, and Sephiroth doesn't even bother to kill him, he's that worthless. <laughs> so... It, it couldn't possibly have been... So basically now, unlike in the original game, we actually get to see Sephiroth storming the building. Wow, um, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Barrett <laughs> Review Shinra. <laughs> Deadly for kids, uh, zero of ten. <laughs> I mean, again, Barrett is going for a Mr. T vibe, so I need all the advice that they, they can for, you know, yeah. for guys, how to handle stuff. Guys, that hologram got very weird. Like, Tifa, I saw you stabbed literally in the back for the stomach. And yeah, yeah, let, let's uh, rating the Apple one star needs more testing. Seriously, it showed some of my friends getting killed. What the hell? Your mission is to go out and tell everyone about the wonders of Shinra. Uh, uh, sure. Oh. What the? Eh? Sorry, oh, your tour has been cancelled. <laughs> Greetings and welcome. Avalanche, I presume. Uh. And then he shoots the wall. <laughs> Alright, I think I kind of glossed over the section we're about to we're about to see in the original game, but yeah, the 63rd floor, you actually met this guy along with the other guys about to present uh, the mayor. Yes. Unfortunately, the mayor has no real power. Unfortunately, yeah. The visual entertainment hall has been experiencing technical difficulties of late. That's an understatement. So what does the mayor want with us? I'm afraid you'll have to ask him that yourself. Oh? Hey. Guess we're supposed to follow. Well, hey, the, the mayor's on our side. That's at least some of the best news we've gotten all day. Still awkward. Sixty-second floor, Six. corporate archives. Nice. Yes, Barrett. So they're books. Sir. There's a lot of them. Oh, we even have cute robots to handle the books. So. Those so, robots are going to attack so, us, aren't they? Well, the robots do interact with you if you pass them. Real close, that is. Mm -hmm. Also, I heard this particular piano track before this remake, but I can't pinpoint. I don't think it's from the original game. Maybe it's from one of the concert albums. Could be. Boop. Of course, it's a hidden book in the library like, bookcase. Sure. Ah, yes, my favorite. Because no one will think that that book looks out of place. Just more books? <laughs> well, more of a secret compartment. Just don't, don't, just don't make Bell see play this place. Well, I'd hope most of them are real books. <laughs> Through here. If this is a trap, you're a dead man. You hear? Yes, sir. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure he knows that. Uh... Well, if it's a trap, it's a very lavish one. The mayor is waiting. <laughs> okay. Hold on, I just want to look around for a bit. Is waiting. Okay. Claude wants to read. So 
sorry, Cloud, you're reading, we'll have to wait. Besides, remember, every time you try and read something, the Dementor will come out and spook you. Actually, I'm surprised the Dementors haven't interfered at this point. Yeah, that, that's not... I, again, I, I'll get to that when, we, when the more appropriate point comes up, but that's been my main problem with... Alright, uh, Mayor, Mayor Domino is voiced by Neil Ross, while Hart is voiced by Anne Reitel. I'll explain more in a second, because... Uh, there you go, we need to learn more about uh, the situation for now. Uh... <laughs> Wonder who's been cleaning up all your Sounds messes. like Tom Kenny. Hmm, he does. What the hell's going on? Come on, think about it. You've been caught by security several times. Yeah. Walked in front of every other camera. Yeah. Oh. Scared an accountant half to death. Uh, yeah. so his beard is uh, something to behold. I'm guessing that you know they count the accountants since you took the elevator route. Unfortunately, Joe, the dialogue is the same regardless if you take the elevator or the stairs. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, so he's an accountant. I'm pretty sure this is the most excitement he's had in a long time. Is it really that surprising to you? You've seen where they put me. The mayor of the greatest city in the whole wide world chucked away in a secret prune closet in the damned archives. That is <laughs> kind of a disgrace. Yes, Rabbit, I understand. Thank Rabbit. This ought to make things easier. We need to break into Professor Hojo's lab. What? Why? You mean you're not here to give President Shinra? Um, maybe, but you know priorities. Well, yeah, we got we got a more important stuff. So two birds with one stone. Well, <laughs> well, I don't particularly care what you end up doing, so long as it hurts Shinra. <laughs> wow. So, I think everyone's stone. in agreement with that one. Floor. Hold up! You telling me that that's the best you can do? That is indeed the best that I can do. I mean, he has been shut up here for ages. But you're the mayor. But you're the mayor? Does this look like the office of a mayor? I'm a glorified librarian. Nothing more. They don't even invite me to their meetings. Damn. Oh. Records and reports. That's all I do. My hands and fingers have more paper cuts than skin. No one knows Aye. my pain, my daily torment. Um, shell of a man. um are, are you okay, dude? I think he needs a hug. Grandpa, do you need do you, like th those hearts actually gave you some emotional comfort? Yeah. It yeah. says something yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Listen, listen to yeah, Barrett, I think, I think he just needed someone to talk to. I think it says something that Barrett of all people needs to comfort the man. Still, though, it really does show how messed up it is that Shinra pretty much controlled the city. To the point where the mayor practically can't do a there thing. There you go, now fuck now off. Use it to access the recreational facility on the 63rd floor. Oh boy. And then what are we supposed to do? You look for a fellow avalanche collaborator. Oh. Identify yourselves and he'll give you a key card to the 64th. We will need to use a, a reference to Final Fantasy 2. Yeah, I'm using a password. Uh... <laughs> says he's cooler than the rest. That is so right. lame. Uh... Can we have a shorter <laughs> one? I this is a reference you. also to the to the original game Just where Domino will actually reward you with a particular item you meant to guess correctly, a uh, password that uh, that he owes. You got it. All right, so that will, that's what we'll be doing in the next part. Uh, trying to find someone who is sad enough to say that this guy is the best at something. <laughs> you know, yeah. if, to his credit, maybe he really was a good mayor when Shinro let him do his job. Well, remember, there were photos of uh, President Shinra signing, you know, contracts and shaking hands with him, you know, for the public. So you get to wonder if at first there was some kind of... Uh, you know, more inclusiveness uh, of even the meetings and all. Anyway, let me check. Anne Reitel, the voice actor for Hart, uh, um, was in... Uh, oh, get this, Pedro. He's the voice actor. He's the was the voice for Nestor in The Adventures of Tintin, The Secret of the Unicorn. Um, but he also voices Scrooge McDuck in Kingdom Hearts 3. So I guess that's him. Uh, cool. he does a, he does a good, uh, but he has an expensive. Uh, he also has an extensive career for doing TV series huh. and. Uh, I'm surprised you know, in other video game roles. Uh. I'm surprised they didn't just cut out the middleman and get David Tennant. Oh no, this is. I think this is a bit important. Cannot be freely given if 
you take my meaning. You want money. Disclosing confidential information entails considerable risk. Okay, you know, you don't have to um but if you, you do you don't have to yeah you don't have to get information from this guy, but it does help you a little if you do. Yeah. But yeah. I don't have ten thousand guilt. <laughs> Basically, but, if you do, if you have enough money, it actually gives you Barrett's a more powerful weapon. So what am I gonna do? I'm just, I'm just like a, just under two thousand gil short. I think Kaveri is mm. a shop in the next floor, but anyway, there you go. Neil, Neil Ross instead dominoes uh, the sector. He has an extensive movie career, but uh, for instead of a video game role, he was uh, Colonel. He has been Colonel Bolgin's voice actor for MGS3, for example. Oh, nice. He also oh, was a look couple at that. of characters 3, in... Gil. Oh, wow. That's that's very convenient. I found just enough gil to let me buy info from the guy. I you guys if... should really check more your trash. I wonder, are... are we ripping off the guy by giving him gil that we literally just found in this room? Or should he have checked it himself, honestly? The individual you seek is fastidious and well-dressed. Good hit. Oh. This individual likes to visit the 63rd floor to decompress from the stress of the job that really all you've got boys oh are you dissatisfied with your purchase how unfortunate perhaps this will help preserve our relationship well he's an yeah, assistant he just signs a fucking candle account. to you like this uh, whoop. <laughs> that's better so uh yeah. before you ask Nobody tell this guy that we got the rest of the gill from this room. He may be a little too stumped by it. Carefully cultivated appearance. The individual you see often visits the 63rd floor to cope with the stress of their professional responsibilities. Uh huh. No more information than this. Before you ask, you will know them by their. Yeah, I've already got that bit, mate. Thanks. Well, All right, let's uh, change uh, Barrett's uh, weapon. Considering rule 63, I can only imagine what that decompressing from stress does. Mm. Now we just got a little bit of upgrading to do to uh, round off the part on your pieces. But yeah, um, but yeah, Neil Rossi has these like super scented career, so I'm not, I'm not gonna. And basically, Jova apparently was a couple of characters in the Transformers movie, a uh, Bone Crusher, Hook, and someone else. I don't yeah. know who they are. Neat. Okay. I, I think he started uh, checking, checking. Yeah, he started voicing, well, doing acting and voice acting since 1977. Apparently, he was someone also in the Spider-Man 1980s a TV series. Oh. Wow. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, some defense might be needed here. And what else is there? Expand the material well, slots as soon as you can do it. Sir. Um, well, um, well, well, I have. I've got two more there. But also, I wanted to prioritize health most of them because, you know, it's, it's all fine and well having a whole bunch of magic. But what good is it if you're dead and not able to use it? <laughs> Well, Dwibs, expanding the slots gives you the opportunity to add on more stuff that can prevent you from dying. Ice and, uh... Ooh. Oh, no, I got... Uh, I can't imagine Barrett doing a prayer, so, uh... Actually, like I said, in one of the previous parts, Dwibs is actually the more, you know, indicated for it, because mm. he builds ATB very fast, so and it's a free... Um, Modest Q roll, you know, free of free of MP charge. I guess so. So join us in the next part where we will, um, thanks to the information provided by Mr. Butler, we'll get we'll get the ball rolling properly on Operation Save Earth by trying to find some random guy in a suit. So we'll see you then. <laughs> see ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.